Tito, Naylor has had a little bit of a tough time against lefties. Just Is there anything you're seeing with, with his approach or anything you'd like to see with his approach? When he stays through the middle and like kind of sets his sight on left center, because that's actually one of the things I thought after as we got to know him that he could he certainly didn't back down from lefties, and I know statistically it wasn't as good this year. Uh, I think it's probably approach like even last night off a righty when he gets in that pull mode, and then they spin him a little bit when he stays. You know, like he hit that line drive up the middle. It was an out, but that's where I think he's, he becomes more dangerous. Other questions? Hoisey? Tito, you've seen uh, Cortez twice during your regular season. What What are your thoughts on him? Um, he's really, really good. All three of the – I mean, the three guys that they've named. Well, four actually count tie on there. You look at their hit innings, and that's a big indicator. It's like 50 short of his innings. He's got that fastball that he can throw at the top of the zone that kind of disappears on you and gets past your barrel. And it gives you different different looks, different – and there's, so there's some deception, but along with the deception, there's good stuff. Other questions? Ron? The success your batters have had this year with contact and cutting down strikeouts, how much of that is by the philosophy you're trying to teach them and how much is a result just of the personnel and the years they had? The, the personnel. I mean, like I said, if we had nine guys that were capable of hitting 40 home runs, our philosophy would be a little different because, you, like, you, you just try to – put your players in the best position to succeed. You don't try to ask them to do things they can't, and you try to get do the things they, they do well more often. That's kind of coaching 101. And in these postseason games where you're facing tough starters every day, is there anything you have to do to just keep their confidence high? Because they're facing – there's no four and five starters they're facing. No, but I mean, you know, the, I, I don't worry about. I'm not worried about that. If you if you've got to this point in the season and they need a pep talk every game, we're probably in trouble. You know, you you know, there. I mean, shoot, we had a 15 inning game in against Tampa, where nobody was getting hits. I didn't see anybody dragging around. They're just trying like desperately to find a way to score a run. Other questions for Tito? Uh, Jason, we'll get you the mic. You, you talked about Stepan yesterday and the, the value he's brought to your bullpen. You guys have done such a good job of finding different relief pieces from different sources. How valuable is that? Is that something that's become more important in recent years? And how much of that involves communication between you guys in the, in the front office? Well, I think, we've, I think we all agree that, and again, everybody has their own perception or belief, but we feel like we need to build our bullpen mostly from within. And because bullpens are so volatile, even if you have the same names, year in and year out. A lot of times the numbers can vary in a big, in a vastly different way. Um, so we've tried to build from, from within the, the, the mo most we can. And we've had some even minor league free agents or things like that that have really helped us throughout the years. Um, just try to, we, we don't bring in a million guys in spring training and then it, it, the waters get muddied. We just try to get a few so we can get a better read like this year uh angel de los santos was one of those guys and in a longer spring training he probably makes our club it was just such an abbreviated you know three weeks that it was kind of hard to to put a non-roster guy on how valuable is it with that group then to get different looks and present hitters with you know a little bit of unpredictability as far as arm angles and, and i stuff? think i think tampa probably does that better than anybody i've seen 
you know, they give you not just left, right, but it's, you know, different looks from different, for different styles of hitters. Um, but when you have guys that are, are, you, you can trust and you can count on, that's a, that's a good feeling. And, and they have to earn it, but it's a good feeling. One last one for Tito. All right, we'll finish up with Ron real quick before Shane comes up. What planning do you do with the staff for the possibility of rain and having four straight days, making it much more akin to regular season than postseason in bullpen usage? Four straight days? Did I did I miss? Well, if tomorrow's rained out and then you're playing Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, Monday. four in a row? Yeah. Well, we I think we played 27 in a row right. during the year. But <laughs> it's not that familiar in the postseason where you try to empty out your bullpen it's whenever you It's still baseball. Played. It's still baseball. We'll, I think we'll be okay. Um, our game is a game of adjustments. If – if we can't handle, we're, we're, we'll be fine. Tito, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. All right. It.